Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to do any flood attacks. Now this is a very common thing where uh, bots will actually flood uh, your server and actually flood the connections. But we can do some simple code to be able to prevent this from happening. So pretty much what, what we need to do is, the first thing we need to do is we need to define the max amount of um, IPs uh, that, that, that can connect. So what we'll do is we'll go define max IPs. Uh, le let's say four. So uh, what we need to do is we need to take into account that there uh, in, there will be situations where there, there is players that will um, that will be in the same ha household on two different PCs but have the same IP. So we need to take that into account. So um, I, I suggest a number of four four max IPs because I've on, on servers that I've had before I've had complaints about uh, max IPs being three. So uh, you know four is a good number. You can increase it um, if you do get complaints sort of thing but four is a good number so pretty much net now we now we've defined uh the max amount of ips the next thing that we need to do is we need to store the ip count in into a variable so you, you can store this into an enum but just for simplicity i'm going to store it into a variable so i'll go um new ip count and it, it's got to be a player variable so we'll go uh, max players like that and um now uh, under on player connect what so Pretty much how it works is when a player connects, we get their IP and we check it against um, everybody else's IP that's on on the server sort of thing. So when when it does so when when it does flood and it gets to the the max amount of four, it will actually detect uh, the bot attack and kick everybody um, that has that IP uh, from the server, essentially kicking all all the bots away. So uh, the first thing we need to do is uh, under on player connect. What what we need to do is we want to uh, avoid any NPCs because if you do have NPCs connecting um, it will only allow this amount of NPCs to connect and kick the rest of them so what we need to do is we need to go if is not is player NPC player ID all right now so in here this is where we can do the code so uh, what we need to do is we need to uh, two variables to store the IPs um, like um, two so new IP one uh, which is 16 cells. All I, all IPs are 16 cells. So we'll go IP1, IP2. And now the first IP we're going to get is the actual player that's connected um, IP. So we'll go get player IP. So IP1 is going to be the actual player ID. So now, now we've got the players... Uh, the, the, the player's IP that's connected, we, now we can compare it to everybody else's IP that's on the server. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll do a for loop. You can do a for each, uh, use for each. But just for simplicity, I'm going to use a for loop. So for... Now, now um, like um, you, you should be doing checks like this if you are using for loop. So we'll go if is player connected because we only we only want to loop through our players that are connected because if you don't it will loop through all the ids that are not connected sort of thing and we don't, we don't want to do that and also and it is not is player npc because we, we don't want to loop through any npcs we just want to check the players that are online sort of thing so we'll go like that um and now the, the this is where we can actually um do, do the checks for for each um for each um player so what we'll do is we'll get the the ip for um for, for the player that we loop through but it'll be ip2 so now we've got that ip we can actually compare the ips now so we'll go if um is not string compare which means um if it all oh. Actually, we'll go string compare if if it's not string compare, uh, which means it, it is the same. So IP one, IP two. So that means that the IPs are the same. So now in here, this is where we can uh, I increment the, the the IP count. So the IP count, we will actually use the the player that's connected sort of thing. So we can go b before the loop. We want to reset it so it, it doesn't. Um, you know, it's not the same amount for the next player that connects. So we'll we'll set the player ID like that, and then for each um, for each like um, player that's connected that has the same IP, we can increment it. So now now we're incrementing it. Now we can check if um, the actual IP count is more than max IPs. Now we know. Um, 
that that there's there, there's too many there's too many connecting so it's a, it's a potential flood sort of thing so what we want to do here is we want to create a function and we'll call it um remove sus suspected bot we'll just call it that and we'll use one of the ips so we'll just use um ip1 so now we've got to create uh this function pretty much so we'll go up to here and we'll go stock remove suspected bot and the ip um we'll call it ip1 and it's a string so we'll go like that okay now um now what we need to do is we need to uh, get like st store the the IP of the of the um, of of the pl players we've got to loot through. So w actually no, we just got to loot through. Actually, we do we we do need to store an another another variable. So we'll go IP two. So IP two. So now what we need to do is we need to um, loot, loot through players again for new. And what we'll do is we'll do the exact same check that we did there. So we'll go like that. Okay, so now, now what we've got to do is we've got to get the IP of the person that we're that that the, the play that we're looping through, which is what we did here. So we can pretty much do this this as well. So it, if the player that we're looping through IP is the same as this IP, we can uh, we can kick them. So what what that's going to do is. It's going to kick every single player that has the IP that's a, a, a suspected bot. So it, pretty much the, the last bot that connected, it's going to detect their IP and detect everyone else. If there's too many, it's going to um, remove every single person from that, um, you know, uh, from the server that actually has that IP. So what we'll do is we'll go down to here and we'll go to return one and we'll go to save and we'll compile that and it compiles all right guys just something in that i noticed just a uh, something simple so pretty much what we want to do is we want to return that function or simply break it you can break it or, or return one there or whatever or you can just return the function but we want to do that because we want to prevent uh the loop from continuing because once we've detected there is a bot we just want to remove them all so there you go that's uh how that's how simple it gets to you just do some um simple logic and um it, this is actually tested so i've tested this on servers multiple times uh like i told you before but i do i, I do suggest using uh four max ips so there you go guys uh if you've got any ideas for any tutorials let me know in the comments guys and we'll see you in the next one peace